This video is about foods for chronic nausea. A prolonged state of nausea can be very annoying for a person, as it not only disturbs their ability to enjoy food, but also causes an altered state of mind, along with negative mood changes. However, studies show that this state of nausea can be treated with just a few dietary changes. What is chronic nausea? The chronic nausea also is known as constant nausea, is when one experiences the feeling of being nauseous continuously for more than a month. This can be triggered by many factors, like eating certain foods, certain smells, or even by just waking up in the morning. Although this chronic nausea is most commonly seen in pregnancy, however, if it is not the case, one must consult a doctor and find the possible cause of the condition. What are the possible causes for chronic nausea? Chronic nausea can be associated with numerous digestive diseases, or even by something as simple as pregnancy, chemotherapy. Those cancer patients WHO are taking chemotherapeutic drugs often experience prolonged periods of nausea due to the very high doses of the drugs given to them along with the possible harmful effects of these on the digestive tract. Gallstones. Chronic nausea can be experienced due to the formation of gallstone, which are the hard bile, deposits obstructing the bile duct. Since bile plays a role in fat digestion, these patients may experience nausea after fatty food consumption. GERD. GERD is a condition where a person experiences acid reflux from the stomach, causing heartburn and indigestion. These symptoms are also associated with nausea due to the constant feeling of discomfort in the chest. Inflammatory Bowel Disease IBD. This is a condition associated with the inflammation of the digestive tract. These conditions are often associated with prolonged nausea, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Foods to treat chronic nausea. Changes in the dietary habits and consumption of certain foods can prevent chronic nausea development like eating smaller portions throughout the day, consuming colder foods, eating slowly, and avoiding foods that are difficult to digest in general. Ginger. A major complaint of those placed on chemotherapy is the constant feeling of nausea they experience. Ginger is a food source that has historically been used as a natural medicine for those experiencing nausea due to its ability to successfully treat those symptoms. This is because it contains certain bioactive compounds, like gingerol and SHOGAOL, that interrupt the pathways directly, associated with chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. It does this by antagonizing 5-HT3, substance P and acetylcholine, modulating cellular redox signaling, and showing anti-inflammatory properties. This shows ginger to be an effective treatment for nausea due to its multiple properties that inhibit the condition. Hot chicken soup. Nausea is often associated with prolonged flu and a blocked nose, as it can cause taste and smell disturbances. Hence studies have shown that hot chicken soup may relieve the nose blockage that is seen in flu and cause an increased nasal mucus velocity. This was further evaluated in a study conducted on 15 individuals. WHO were either given hot water, hot chicken soup, or cold water. Their nasal mucus velocity was measured before the administration of fluid, followed by 5 minutes and 30 minutes after the administration. The results showed that the highest increase in nasal mucus velocity was seen with the hot chicken soup, which changed the flow from 6.9 mm min to 9.2 mm min. This study proves that those individuals WHO experience prolonged chronic nausea in the colder seasons due to blocked nose or even allergies can relieve their symptoms by regular consumption of hot fluids like chicken soup, applesauce, cisplatin is a chemotherapeutic drug that normally causes prolonged nausea and is a cause of great discomfort for the patients. 
Although this nausea can be controlled by certain antiemetic drugs, they are associated with side effects of their own, like a decline in nutritional status, and sometimes may not even work that well for these patients. A study was conducted. On 19 patients, WHO were placed on the chemotherapeutic drug cisplatin and were randomly given a diet containing applesauce, ice cream, and cottage cheese. The results showed that, those WHO consumed applesauce, ice cream, and cottage cheese, had increased food intake, along with lower complaints of nausea. The study concluded, with the statement that, this improvement in the dietary habits, might be because the patient believes, they have some control over their treatment outcome. Protein-rich meals. A lot of people experience motion sickness while traveling on long routes. And this may be associated with prolonged nausea as well. Some studies show that this nausea can be prevented by the consumption of protein-rich meals. In one study, the participants of the study were either given a carbohydrate beverage, a protein-rich beverage, others nothing. Before they were exposed to a rotating optokinetic drum, the symptoms of motion sickness were measured one before the exposure, and then during the 16 minutes drum rotation period. The results showed that those WHO were given the liquid protein beverage had the most significant suppression of motion sickness symptoms like nausea and gastric tachyrrhythmia peppermint the peppermint teas have always been used as a home remedy for numerous gut related issues due to its soothing effect this property of peppermint was evaluated in a study which included women experiencing c-section induced nausea the women were divided into three groups on the basis of the therapy they were given and the results showed that those women, WHO were given peppermint aromatherapy, had the lowest rates of reported nausea, as compared to the anti-emetic and placebo group. Conclusion. The most effective way to treat prolonged nausea is to find out the root cause of what exactly is causing it. Although foods like ginger, applesauce, peppermint, protein-rich beverages, and chicken soup might help treat it temporarily one must consult a health physician to reach up to the root cause in order to prevent it from progressing further here ends this video presentation note this information is for education and reference only it is not meant to replace the informed advice of your doctor please consult your doctor or health care provider if you believe that you have a health problem, do not resort to self-help. We hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to receive alerts when we produce these types of videos in the future. Subscription is totally free. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.